five kilometers from the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear power plant, the final checkpoint. Only authorized vehicles are allowed past this point. Arriving at the plant, the first thing we see are the huge water tanks that hold the toxic water that's been used to keep the reactors cool. So we're actually inside the plant now and uh, where we're off to is to uh, get the hazmat suits and the protection before we go into the, uh, the more contaminated areas. So here you can see all the journalists getting ready. This is effectively what the workers have to go through every single day. There are strict rules about what we can and can't film. Okay. But this is the part of the plant TEPCO wants us to show, Reactor 4. You can't get much closer to the heart of the Fukushima disaster than this. This is why TEPCO has brought us here. We are in the Reactor 4 building, the building that suffered that hydrogen blast in the days after the disaster. And this is the cooling pool. Inside there, there are 1,500 spent fuel rods. And what the company is doing over the coming days is to remove those fuel rods to a more stable location, they say. They insist it is a routine operation. They've done it many times before. To remove